what we are uh, to see it for, and so we kind of have to decide kind of where you're going to spin. Are you going to spin something that's going to be worsted weight? Are you going to spin flat yarn or lace yarn? And if you're going to spin these things, are you going to spin using a worsted method or are you going to spin using a woolen method? So all these things are under consideration when you're choosing to design your own things. So now we have a chance to take a look at the different fibers that are available, look at the characteristics, what they're suited for, and how the colors are going to affect the final product. Um, we're going to look at how the spinning is going to go. And one of the big questions that I always get asked is how do I keep these colors separate? How do I keep these colors clean and pure? You know, in a, in a fiber like this, where there's some green, there's some red, and there's some chance for making these really muddy, how do I keep these really separate and clear? And so we'll take the next lesson at the spinning wheel to learn how to keep those colors separate. Please post your questions on that platform. I'm really excited to see what kind of fibers you guys have available with the spin, um, what kind of colors you're going to be working with, what kind of fibers. If you have any questions about um, what your fiber might be suited for or how uh, you might approach your fiber, please feel free to post those questions and I'd love to see what you have and see what you can do there. This is Spinning Dive Fibers. I'm Felicia Lowe. We'll see you in the next lesson. So there's another method that you can use to keep the colors separate and keep the colors really clean. And it's called magical fine or chain fine. So the basic concept is that you spin one single onto the bottom, single onto the bottom, and then you create a crochet chain with this yarn. 